Go! I hit the little head. I didn't mean to, though. So now for something completely different, guys. This is the High Point C9, one of the cheapest pistols we've ever tested, but why not? Let's do it. So what's funny is after just the first round fired, we already are missing one of the little paint dots out of our rear sight. So it needs help from our sponsor and our sponsor is Excess Sights. I've got Excess Sights on this Glock 19 here because you know that Glock pistol sights stink. And especially if you put something like a suppressor on it, or in my case, this uh, CT Rad Pro was too high and now I just didn't have any irons. And so I was like, man, but these suppressor high sights from Excess Sights fit the bill perfectly. And now I can co-witness, don't have to worry about optics going down or anything like that some of their designs are like a shallow v so you have a big dot in the front and so it's not like a slower post in a notch type thing you just drop that dot right in the shallow v and so it's quick and it's practical it's accurate so you can get 10 percent off with the code xs sites 10 now let's shut up and shoot malfunction we did top it off but all right tap fixed it you didn't see that yeah <laughs> went on safety <laughs> We're connecting. We did have that one little hiccup. Uh, the only hiccup I've had, I did just a mag earlier, and it was on the first round of the magazine after you charged it. So maybe there's something there. But this is the legendary High Point C9. Bought this because I wanted to do a... Uh, well, I'm not going to tell you. You'll have to stay tuned. But we have something special planned for this guy. But I'm like, man, why don't we just take it to the range and shoot it? Because High Point's almost as legendary as a Desert Eagle, at least in the gun industry. So High Point, it, what did I pay? Like 160 delivered for this. This is the Model C9. And it is chunky. Okay, for just the eight round magazine, it's not that great. Uh because it's a chunky thing. But my thing was, okay, earlier we tested this very unique Altor pistol. We'll leave a link so you can go check that out. Uh, it's 99 bucks, but it's a single shot. So, would I take this over the single shot? Yeah, because, okay, there's at least eight more, and we were having misfires just due to the cheapo trigger mechanism. Go watch the video to figure that out there. But I was over with National Association for Gun Rights last week, and we were playing with their high point. You can go check out their channel and see what kind of mess they're getting it into. I won't spoil anything there. But I'm like, man, let's really just take this out from a gun review perspective. Now, surprisingly enough, so I was hitting a little to the right, and it does have adjustable sights. It also has a replacement ghost ring site that we can put there. Uh, control wise, you really have one control and it, okay, magazine release, we can call that too. But it, it will hang open on the last slide, at, at the last round open. You don't have a, um, a slide drop though, a slide release. So once we put it in, we'll have to do the tug. Of course, it's, this magazine's empty, but there, it would go in like so. You have the safeties. It does have a magazine uh, disconnector safety. So we pull the mag out, we will not be able to pull the trigger. That's actually quite easy to disable, but I won't get into that here because lawyers are jerks. We're gonna put that back in, and uh, yeah, of course, that's it. We'll talk about the trigger in a second. There's no, not really a wall. Now you have to pull it back a long way to reset. Oh, we didn't pull it back enough, so we have to pull it back so much that the... got to pull the magazine out, and let's see if we can show you... Yeah, you can learn it a little bit, but man, this slide is just so chunky, and the grip is just meh, and this is really slippery. The bottom... You know, we have polymer guns all the time. The owner's manual says the lower is polymer. I say it's plastic because polymer sounds like a higher level of plastic and this looks like a lower level of plastic and uh, even the trigger just poly just just plastic everything's just plastic except this one pound slide fixed barrel so suppressor guys knows what that means you don't have a floating tilting barrel it is fixed there all the time it doesn't move, which means we wouldn't need a piston on the suppressor. If the barrel was just threaded alone, you can put a fixed barrel suppressor on there and never have any reliability issues. So that is the rundown of it. Let's try for some accuracy.
This is almost a sin. We have some very premium ammo from Detroit Ammunition. This was a limited run um, of their breast cancer awareness ammo, but it's a, you can go check out that ammo, I mean that video. <laughs> it's <laughs> to shoot it in a high point, but we want a good benchmark. We're gonna compare it to uh, another uh, open sight gun we have. I'm gonna take my time, put five rounds in the center of that bottom dot. Not a shabby group, so it's hard just not to drop it because it's like trash. <laughs> We've got an older Canic that has iron sights. Every other one of my pistols has red dot, but we have to stay even. So same ammo. Let's see what we got in that top one. Oh my. So here we have our high point, which is actually, you know, not terrible. You can see those bullets. They're those Lehigh bullets and they leave kind of a thin pattern. So this isn't bad for five rounds. Okay, 10 yards, it's acceptable. A little low, a little right. And we're high left with the Canic, but look at that group. So we've got easily a two to three uh, time size group out of the high point. Uh, the Canic does have a nice trigger. There's a nice wall against it. The high point does not. It's just a small, a long squish. But here's what I wanted to try out is we're kind of more at distance. Um, maybe not with that premium ammo, but I was um, shooting it uh, the other day and I just couldn't connect at 100 yards with it. So we're gonna just see where it's hitting and see if it loses accuracy over distance. Maybe there's a rifling issue. Maybe it was the test gun I had over at National Association for Gun Rights. We're going to just shoot a little bit more and figure out what the accuracy does. Flashback. I actually heard that bullet fly. Really? Before it even hit anything. <laughs> they're not, they're not stable. End of flashback. So funny story. From time to time I do some private shooting lessons. Someone brought a high point out. They're kind of paying more for the lesson than the gun, almost. And uh, I, I had to just check it out. And it was, it was hitting high right. So I'm wondering if the high point customer base, they know they're so untrained that they're going to jerk the gun low left if they come from the factory hitting high right. Know what I mean? I don't know, but uh, it was suspicious. So they're... I guess there is elevation adjustment. Maybe they had adjusted it themselves. Okay, I, I see now that we could probably sight it in better, but we're gonna go with factory sights. This is now 25 yards. Premium ammo from Detroit Ammo. Man, I hate doing this, but <laughs> it's the only way to really be fair. Every pull felt great to me. Let's go figure it out. We are definitely low. We need to raise those sights up. But if that's our three shots and then a fourth, look at that. So that's what that, that Lehigh does. Look at the cross pattern. Pretty cool. So maybe I just need to bump the sights up and it's shooting decently. I mean, 25 yards. Let's bump the sights up and try one more time. We're gonna mark them. All right, looks a little high. I see a nice string, but here's the problem. This is a beginner gun, and beginners don't have good trigger discipline. Beginners don't have good um, uh, trigger presses, and it's so mushy. And double check. Okay, don't want to send away this guy. It's so mushy without a wall. That's difficult to master. So I would not expect a beginner to shoot as well as what you're seeing. Those bullets, okay? Those are those Lehigh bullets. Look at the pattern. That is so cool. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Hey, interesting, just a vertical alignment. So that could just be the shooter. But if you talk about your, uh, 
Yeah, yeah your windage. That's 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 an excellent control there. You hear that trash? It's like that's just the gun. <laughs> We're at 80 yards. You probably can't see it, but I barely can. It's right over the knoll of the hill. So, uh, and I did tweak the sight so I can try to hold dead on. Maybe I tweaked them too much. Let's seat the magazine properly, and now it will load. Seat. Uh. These mags don't seat well. Now we're loaded. All right, let's. Oh boy, that's small. Go for a ding. I can't tell. I'm used to shooting suppress so much. That was a hit. I don't think that hit. I don't think that hit. Hit! 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 Okay, I think I might have been hitting to the right. That means I probably adjusted the sights too much to the left. So I was holding at the end. Let's go see what it looks like because I can't tell a thing from here. <laughs> we hit it four times. I had eight rounds of the mag. 82, no, 80 yards with a $160 gun. I guess we'll take it. But I think we went through about $40 in ammo because of the high-end stuff. But there you go. Is the high point doable? It, it got the job done today. We did have a malfunction or two. So if this is all you can afford, you need to train and then your training class is going to cost more than your gun so that's something that's but you can self-train but just make sure you know what you're really getting into think of it this way though a gun is a parachute if i'm going skydiving i don't say give me the cheapest one you got does it work most of the time you know does it does it kind of slow you down enough just to not go splat i'll take that one or is one hey give me one that we know will work when it needs to think of it that way if you're using it for self-defense but it is always better than your fingernails thanks for watching today guys remember to join the mailing list and all that because check your subscription you've probably been unsubscribed and uh, you're probably not getting notifications but can't do anything about that except if you get on the email list over at topshotdustin.com. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Did you see that? Come on, Nasse! Come on, Nasse! Yeah. I came in like a wrecking ball!